The DuPont Cavalcade of America, starring George Tobias. On this Thanksgiving week, the DuPont Company brings you Us Pilgrims, starring George Tobias and featuring Ralph Bell and Mercedes McCambridge on the Cavalcade of America. First, here is Gain Whitman. Good evening. Here's a timely hint for motorists. It may be especially difficult this winter to replace antifreeze if it leaks away. You can guard against leaks and loss of valuable antifreeze by pouring a can of DuPont Cooling System Sealer into the radiator. DuPont Cooling System Sealer may be used safely with any standard antifreeze solution. DuPont Cooling System Sealer is another of the DuPont Company's better things for better living through chemistry. Now, Us Pilgrims, starring George Tobias in the dual role of Mr. Barachek and Boss Pilgrim on the Cavalcade of America. Tonight, we bring you a different type of cavalcade, a story of an immigrant's idea of the first Thanksgiving. Our story begins in a classroom. Now write a row of W's, please. But the pupils are growing up. It is night school. Don't hold your pen so hard, Mr. Baracek. <laughs> It'd get away if I don't, Miss Teacher. No, it won't. Just relax. Baracek can't even hold pen right. No talking, please, Mr. Barr. These are aliens learning to read and write simple English in order to become citizens of our country. Now a row of X's. Mrs. Hansen, you put an umlaut on your O's again. Ach, I could swear every time I do it. Now the L's, class. You're making J's, Mr. Baracek. Oh, oh, I, I sorry, teacher, I fix. Baracek can't even make L's. No talking, please, Mr. Bauer. And now the Z's. Good, class. Much better. Now, are there any questions? Miss Hasker, why we have in America Thanksgiving? <laughs> What's so amusing, Mr. Bauer? <laughs> Some question. What Thanksgiving got to do with how we write with pets? I think it's a very good question, Mr. Bauer. And the more you know about the United States and its history, the better citizens you'll make. Mrs. Hansen has asked why we celebrate Thanksgiving. Who can tell her? Uh, teacher, teacher. Can you, Mr. Bauer? Sure. It's holiday. But why? Says on calendar. <laughs> but who first made it a holiday? Why did they have the first Thanksgiving? Uh, uh, Mr. Bauer doesn't seem to know. Does anyone else in the class? Uh, excuse, please, teacher. Yes, Mr. Baracek. I know about first Thanksgiving. I bet he does. Mr. Bauer, please. Could you tell the class about Thanksgiving, Mr. Baracek? Think so? I got a little nephew, very smart. Last night, nephew recite peace in school exercise. Peace all about first Thanksgiving. Why don't you tell us as much about it as you can, Mr. Baracek? Sure. Uh, uh, one question first, please. Who's uh, P uh, Pilgrims? Well, they were a group who came to America in 1620. They came here to find religious freedom. Oh, then pilgrims immigrant like us. In a way, they were, Mr. Baracek. Now, suppose you tell us how you think the first Thanksgiving came about. All right. <laughs> it's like this. A long, long time ago in all country, things very bad. Bad king. One day, boss pilgrim is walking down street with other pilgrim. They talking. All country is no good, say boss pilgrim. Not so loud, boss, say other pilgrim. Soldiers hear you. Teacher, teacher. Yes, Mr. Bauer. Does Baracek mean pilgrims talk like that? Sure thing. They speak English just like you and me. <laughs> Let's not have any interruptions, please. Go on with your story, Mr. Baracek. Well, long time ago, in old country, things very tough. The king is bad. And one day, boss pilgrim is walking down street with pilgrim named Benny. And boss pilgrim say, Benny, all country's no good for us pilgrims. Shh, boss. 
Soldiers hear you. Tell King. Now, somebody ought to tell King. Tell King, let us pilgrims pray like we want. Tell King we want religious freedom. Go church like we please. Nobody got religious freedom in 1620. That's this year. They got in America. Huh? What's America? His new country Columbus discovered. And can pray any way darn please there. And that's the way it should be in old country. King or no king. Not so loud, boss. Shh, you get us pinched. He's better be pinched than not pray like we want to. I show, king. What, what, what are you doing, boss? Going to say my prayers. Not here in street, boss. Get up. People see you. Here come soldiers, boss. Ah, what I care for soldiers. I show that king how to pray. God, what does pilgrims going to do? Things bad here. Come on, boss. Soldiers, they love to kick us pilgrims around. Don't interrupt me. I, I go now. Excuse, please, God. Benny butt in. But what us pilgrims going to do? Things very bad here in old country. King is mean, bad man. No religious freedom. He push us pilgrims all around. He don't let us pray hey, like we want to. Hey, pilgrim. I don't have to say this. What's the matter, pilgrim? pilgrim? You deaf? It's a... Excuse, please, God. Another interruption. <laughs> what do you want, officer? So, we caught you praying, huh? Yes, sir. Why you pray in dirty street when king has nice, clean church to pray in? Huh, pilgrim? Feel like pray here. Does that mean you don't like king's church to pray in? Huh, pilgrim? Maybe I like king's church better if I ever get what I pray for there. What's that, pilgrim? Religious freedom for us pilgrims. I give you freedom, pilgrim. How you like that? Next time you go to jail. And next time I catch you praying, it better be in King's Church. And another thing. Next time, pray out loud. You think God cannot hear what I ask for? Maybe God hear all right, but we want to too. We want to be sure King like what you pray for. All right. Watch. Soldiers. I hate soldiers. Tell King I pray just like I want. It's me, God, again. Please help us, please, pilgrims. We're very unhappy in all country. But what are we going to do? What are pilgrims going to do, God? Hmm. I hear steamboat whistle. Maybe we should take boat to America. Is that what you want us to do, God? Okay, God. Us pilgrims go to America. Thank you. <laughs> Meeting will come to order, please. Fellow pilgrims. I call you here tonight to tell you big news. God wants us to go to America. America? You mean it, boss? America? Today I pray, and God tell me personal, I should take boat right away and go to USA. That's other name for America. Boss, boss. Oh, it's you. What you do mean, you want? What do you want, Joe? You mean us pilgrims should go to this America place to live? That's right, Joe. And give up my fruit stand? What's the matter? You open fruit stand in America. People got to eat there, same like here. Another thing, boss. I don't think my wife like idea. She gets seasick. What do you care how your missus feel, Joe? Important thing, do you get seasick? No, but I don't want wife to need it. She's tough enough to get along with when feel good. <laughs> Never mind who gets seasick. We're talking about going to America. I don't think it's a good idea, boss. We don't know nothing about place. If it's good enough for God, it's good enough for us. You think we find jobs and make living there, boss? Benny, Benny, what kind of pilgrim you? God wouldn't tell us to go no place where there's no work. Did he say just what USA was like? No, but I bet it's big, beautiful, wonderful country. Hey, boss, if it's so big, how come they just find it? All I care is new country and can pray any way we like there. Oh. You mean... Boss, you mean they got religious freedom? It's in Constitution. Then I vote we go there. Good, good. Then we go tomorrow night. In harbor is boat called Mayflower. Third class steerage tickets, very reasonable. 
<laughs> but, boss, what about my fruit stack? Sell it. Give it away. Take it with you. Only stop worry about it. Well, all right. I go fresco, but I still say it's bum idea. It's not my idea, Joe. It's God's. And I'm sure he have wonderful country there for us pilgrims. I bet there is big cities with tall buildings and farms where things grow like anything. And mines for coals and, and railroad trains and trees to chop and factories for working and schools for kids and pretty scenery to look at. Don't God's country sound nice? Well, if only it's where you think it's going to be, boss. <laughs> God's so good to us pilgrims, Joe. I bet your wife not even seasick on way to USA. Well, Mayflower boat still sailing on ocean, and trip is tough for everybody, not just Joe's wife. Then when storm stop, come bad fog, and boat get lost, and pilgrims all scared, and boss pilgrims start praying. Please, God, don't let Mayflower hit iceberg or ferry boat and fog. Please bring us safe to America. And if we could get there pretty soon now, we would all appreciate very much. Thank you, God. Hey, boss. Hello, Joe. Hello, everybody. Boss, we want to know when we get to America. Yeah, yeah. Right now, America. Any time now. Any time now. Every day you say that. That's right, boss. Well... Can't go very fast in fog. First storm, now fog. I thought you had it fixed that everything is going to be so honky-dory on this trip. You can't even fix it so my wife can keep her supper down. We just got to be patient. Ah, uh, look, this guy, Columbus. 1,492 years it took to discover America. How do you know we find it at all? We find it. We better find it soon. My kids got bad colds. Need doctor. Well, we take them to clinic as soon as we land, Benny. <laughs> But, boss, when we land? That's what I want to know. All I can say is, pilgrims, is... Look. Huh? Look how quick fog is lifting. Huh? Look. Land. land. It's America. America. How do you know it's America, boss? I can see Statue of Liberty. Look. <laughs> The Statue of Liberty. What do you know? The Statue of Liberty. Ah, give Spyglass, somebody. Give Spyglass. Wait. There's writing on statue. I read to you. Listen. It say, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Oh, how you like that. Well, pilgrims, didn't I tell you God not let us pilgrims down? <laughs> Congratulations, boss. Congratulations. Boss. Boss. Now what? Can I have Spyglass one minute? Take, Joe. You see statue good? See statue okay. But that all I do see. What do you mean, Joe? You promise us big cities in the U.S. and farms and trains and factories and schools and churches and beautiful scenery. So? So this America, this God's country is nothing but a lot of woods. Give Spyglass. Look, just woods. Bet there's not even people there, only wild animals. And I sold my fruit stand. Yo, we're gonna have religious freedom. But what about all those things you promised? I keep my promise. It's pretty scenery, ain't it? You are 
are listening to Us Pilgrims, an unusual story of an immigrant's idea of the first Thanksgiving, starring George Tobias on the Cavalcade of America, sponsored by the DuPont Company, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. Mr. Baracek, an immigrant, is going to night school to learn to become an American citizen. A discussion arose about the origin of Thanksgiving, and Mr. Baracek is telling the class his story of the pilgrims and the first Thanksgiving, all in his own words. So, after Mayflower get to USA, pilgrims get off at Ellis Island. Teacher, Baracek is crazy. Pilgrims land on a place called Plymouth Rock. Okay, in 1620, Ellis Island was named Plymouth Rock. Okay, but what about Statue of Liberty? What do you mean? There was no Statue of Liberty here in 1620 or not. Not yourself. Liberty always here, huh, teacher? Well, when you get through with your story, Mr. Baracek, I'll tell you just when they put the statue up. But you've got the right idea. <laughs> Bauer don't know so much. Go on with your story, please. So, pilgrims get to America. It's a very wild place. All woods. It's winter time, and it's very cold, and snow is very deep. Boss! Hey! Hey, boss! Boss, listen! Hey, boss! What do you want, Benny? A whole bunch of tough-looking guys coming. Some kind of savages got red skins and feathers in hair. I bet it's cannibals. I ain't scared of no guys who wears feathers and hair. Come on! <laughs> Who are you guys? Friendly Indians. Us pilgrims. I boss pilgrim. I chief of friendly Indians. You fellas live around here? Long time. You fellas new here, ain't you? <laughs> Just got off Mayflower. Proud to meet people who came over on Mayflower. Say, is good country here? The best. You like it fine. Only may take you a few days to get used to the water. Teacher! Teacher! Now what is it, Mr. Bauer? Baricek don't know what he talk about. How can? Don't even get a chance to talk. <laughs> Baricek got engines running around loose in woods. Where are I supposed to have Indians? An Indian reservation. Everybody knows that. You're wrong there, Mr. Bauer. There were no Indian reservations in those days. Well, if I'm wrong, it ain't Baricek's fault. He's nothing but a foreigner, that Baricek. You bet. All Americans start out like that. That's right, Mr. Baricek. Now, will you go on, please? Well, things get tougher and tougher for pilgrims. Winter get worse. Pretty soon, they almost out of food. Help! Please! Help! Who's calling? Help! It's fellow in snow over here. Please! Help! Oh, it's chief of friendly Indians. Come on. Who's there? It's me, chief. Boss Pilgrim. It's me and Joe. Give me food. Please, food. What's the matter? What's the matter, Chief? I get lost in woods, not eat for days. Food, food. Oh, Joe and me got pockets full sandwich, Chief. Here, take. No, 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 don't, boss. We need them sandwich, too. Oh, this is starving man, uh, Joe. What I care is nothing but a foreigner. Ah, he's starving man. <laughs> he's starving man, and I give him sandwich whether you like or no. See? Here, Chief, take. It's good. A good sandwich. <laughs> Chief of friend, the Indian... Never forget it. Who is it? Me, boy. Hello, Benny. Good evening, boss. Hello, missus. How sick kids? Not so good, boss. You give aspirin and castor oil like I tell? Uh, us pilgrims all out of aspirin and castor oil. No place to get more, boss. 
Oh, it's bad. If only could get fresh milk for kids. I think they get well. No complaint, Mama. Everybody else just bad off is like us. I go see kids now. You think we get along till spring and Mayflower come back, boss? Uh, I don't know, Benny. We almost out of food now. I make big mistake to bring us here. I guess I no understand God, right? Maybe God no want things to be easy for us here, boss. What do you mean? Suppose us pilgrims come to U.S. and his big buildings every place and jobs and delicatessens on every corner. And right away, what happens? We get so busy climbing up and down big buildings and feeling our silk shirts, we forget what we came here for, to be free. That's right, Benny. I don't think God ever wanted easy to be free. And anybody who wanted got to work like anything for it. If, if only God... Tell us what to do. Benny! Benny! Huh? The kids are first. You've got to do something about getting the meal. Excuse me, boss. I, I, I got to talk to Mrs. She get excited. W women, you know. God, this boss pilgrim, I be wrong. I guess uh, I expect things going to be too easy. Only they can be too tough, too. Us pilgrims can't take much more. Honest. Honest, God. What are we going to do? Excuse, please, God. Who there? It's me, Chief of Friends Indian. Hello, Chief. Shake hands. I can shake hands when both hands full of sandwich. Sandwich? You save life of Chief of Friendly Indians with sandwich. Chief of Friendly Indians never forget. For four days now, whole tribe has been making sandwich. <laughs> Make 16,000 sandwich and have brought them all here for pilgrims. This is fine thing you do, Chief. Us pilgrims almost starving. Besides 16,000 sandwich, bring 16,000 dill pickle. <laughs> Chief of Friendly Indians never forget. You know, I pray to God for help just when you knock on the door. Tell your God not to worry about you. Spring comes soon and Chief of Friendly Indians show pilgrim how to plant corn. Maybe then you invite Chief of Friendly Indians to dinner, huh? This is the most beautiful table full of food I ever see, Mr. Boss Pilgrim. Uh, no wonder it's first Thanksgiving dinner. Let me at that turkey. Oh, uh, just a minute, Joe. What's the matter with you? Say prayers before we eat. This is Thanksgiving. God, us pilgrims want to thank you for everything. For this turkey... And cranberries. And all good things you let us grow. Thank you for bringing us from all country to USA. Thank you. For we can pray here. And work. And build something fine. And be free men. And may there always be room here. For other pilgrims like us. Amen. Thank you. Well, Mr. Baracek, that's very interesting. There are one or two historical inaccuracies I'll explain later. But you certainly do get the idea. Thank you, teacher. Wait a minute, Baracek. What about the turkey? What do you mean about the turkey? You say pilgrims lived in the woods. I heard you. That's right. Then where did the turkey come from, Mr. Smarty Baracek? Boss pilgrim win it in raffle. Uh. Our 
Our star, George Tobias, will return in just a moment. But first, here is Gain Whitman speaking for DuPont. Other eyes than yours. The eyes of your grandfather and grandmother, your father and mother, when they were young and very much in love, have looked upon the soft fading colors of autumn leaves and found them beautiful and a little sad, discovering in them the truth that every summer must come to an end. At this time of year, with Thanksgiving Day drawing close, we are particularly conscious of those that have gone before us, conscious of our place in the endless cavalcade, which reaches from far away in the past to far away in the future. It is from the long, reassuring past that we draw strength and courage to go on. We look to the future with hope and confidence, for if we know how to give good gifts to our children, then how much more shall our Father in heaven give good things to them that ask him? No one can really doubt who knows that seventh chapter of Matthew. Shall we, as we think on the past, on the future, give thanks? Yes. Has there been no other time in the world when clouds have darkened the horizon? There have been many such times, and we've always come through. Let us give thanks. Let us give thanks as our forefathers did. Americans have much, much more for which to be thankful than they ever had. Let us count our blessings, our better things for better living, not merely from the world of science, but from the world of the spirit, in which mankind is also learning lessons, though they be slow and arduous. Let us be thankful for our freedom, symbolized by the precious documents aboard the freedom train. Let us be thankful for health, for friendship, for human kindness, for sincerity, for courage, wherever we find them. In this spirit of reverence, friends, I bring you cordial wishes for a joyous Thanksgiving from the men and women of the DuPont Company, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. Now our star, George Tobias. What Gain Whitman said is right. Over here, we have a lot to be thankful for. But in Europe, with winter, the people will be hungry. We have been asked to save food for them. Friends, let's not make a mockery of thanksgiving. In giving thanks to him who said, I was hungered and he gave me meat. Let's express our thanks in a practical way. Let's share our food with those who are hungry. Good night. Next week, The Cavalcade of America presents Van Heflin in Towards the Horizon an exciting and dramatic adventure of the first navigation of the perilous Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. Be sure to join us again next Monday night at this same time for Van Heflin in Towards the Horizon on the DuPont Cavalcade of America. Tonight's DuPont Cavalcade, Us Pilgrims, was written by Frank Gabrielson. Featured in our cast were Ralph Bell as Bauer, and Mercedes McCambridge as Miss Haskell. Danny Ockel played the chief of the friendly Indians. Music was composed by Arden Cornwell and conducted by Donald Bryan. George Tobias can soon be seen in the Eagle Lion film, Adventures of Casanova. This is Bill Hamilton inviting you to listen next week to Van Heflin in Towards the Horizon on the Cavalcade of America, brought to you by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.